Cucumbers are very important in agriculture and horticulture here in North Carolina. That's my main role as far as trying to find ways to more efficiently produce a crop, be more economical, uh, find the best for our growers so they can be successful. We have probably around six to 7,000 acres that are specifically grown for pickling cucumber purposes. Uh, we also grow other cucumbers, the fresh market cucumbers, and so that would be several more thousand acres as well. So uh, that's, that's kind of the general acreage that we have. The other thing that we have is we probably have a, a little north of 100 growers that produce pickling cucumbers for uh, the processing industry, with Mount Olive Pickle Company being one of the larger processors here in the state of North Carolina. Once they're harvested, they're taken to the plant. Uh, most of it is uh, a fresh pack type of uh, a product that the, the public is now preferring. They go ahead and they pasteurize uh, that product, they heat it, uh, make sure it's, it's uh, safe to eat. We may do some on-farm type testing. Uh, we've done this uh, where we've looked at different uh, cucumber varieties. Uh, more recently, we've been looking at seedless cucumbers for field production, which normally you would have seen that only in the greenhouse. But uh, we have about 10 to 15 percent of the crop now that is grown with these what they call seedless or parthenocarpic cucumbers and uh, that makes for a, a nicer product. They've improved that type of cucumber quite, quite a bit over the last couple decades. The value is north of, of about $10 million. I'd say somewhere in the range of 12 to $14 million for pickling cucumber production. Cucumbers are an important slice of the overall returns in the economy here in North Carolina.